Hi, my name is Michael Murnaka, and today we are going to learn how to do graffiti hand styles like this in Adobe Illustrator. So what are hand styles? Hand styles are when people do graffiti with markers. It looks kind of like this. Uh, there's a lot of different a lot of different styles and techniques. A lot of people are really good at it. It's also really easy to do in Adobe Illustrator. So one signature uh, piece of these hand styles is you'll notice uh, here that there's a really fat tip and then it thins out because with markers like this there's usually a flat end. Ooh, that is not a marker. Uh, yeah, usually <laughs> there's um, you can make a really wide angle but when it's to the side you can make a really when the markers to the side you could also make a really thin angle. And again, it's really easy to do in Illustrator, so I will show you how. We'll make a new document. Um, none of this really matters, so you could just hit OK. And to get started, um, we'll go over in later videos short keys in Illustrator, but it's always good to know the short keys. I'll try not to use them right now so that you could see all the all the right buttons and stuff. So there's a couple ways to do this. Um, today I'm going to show you how to use brushes in Illustrator. Uh, so how do you use brushes? If you hit P on the keyboard, that will bring up the pen tool, which is right here. So you could also click it. So the pen tool is probably the most useful tool in Adobe Illustrator. Um, a lot of people might say that they hate it or it's really difficult to use. But um, for this application, it's a necessity. Um, so to use the pen tool, what you do is you click a point and then you click and hold your mouse and then drag and you'll see that this angle uh, will start moving around and follow the point that you're dragging. So when you leave off of a point, the next point you click will come from this angle here. So if I click and hold again, you'll see this angle continue and you can make shapes from it. So one thing that you really want to do is get good with the pen tool, practice with it. Um, besides making angles, you can also click and just make straight points too. Additionally, you can just click and make straight points and then hold and make round points. And if you're to click this, what it does is it kills the angle. So you could start all over again. Very useful. So. Uh, we're going to be using the pen tool along with the brushes palette. So if you don't have the brushes uh, panel up, what you could do is go to Window, uh, Brushes, and it'll pop up for you. And you'll notice there's a bunch of preset brushes. So if you have the pen tool, again, it's P um, on Mac and PC. You could click and make this line. And if I click any of these brushes, it'll the brush will be applied to the stroke that you've uh, stroke or line that you've already made. So you'll notice that there's some interesting um, interesting shapes going on. This one's kind of uh, jagged. This one's like blurry. These are all preset Illustrator brushes. Um, what we're going to be doing is make our own marker brush right now. So, um, like here, I wrote booty. Right now, we'll write. What do you think I should write? One more. That is way too long. Aww. I'll write Cali because we're in California and that's easy. And that's something that a bunch of super, super cool people are probably going to do right after this anyway. So we're going to write Cali, C-A-L-I. I don't know why I'm typing this. Why not? So to make your brush, um, what we're going to do what I'm going to do first is get started writing a C. So uh, one thing to know about um, hand styles, is to do something like this will take a lot of practice. Um, you could do like a crappy quick one to get started. I'm not, I'm not a graffiti artist by any means. I just like to mess around. Um, what you can do, what I would recommend is you're almost never going to write a C uh, like this, like a basic C. So what you want to do to make your, your hand styles more interesting is simulate kind of a flowy movement with a marker. 
So you might start a line like this and bring it up and around like this. So that's a kind of interesting little C. And now what we're going to do is create our own brush. So you want to click the new brush icon. You'll see a number of options. We'll go over other brushes another time, but for now, we will start with the calligraphic brush. So hit OK. And these are pretty simple to do. Um, so this is basically a marker tip shape, and you're a marker tip, a brush tip shape. So you'll see here this circle is basically what we already have. Um, to simulate a marker, you're going to want a flat end, so I'm going to click the, this dot and drag it inwards. You see, you can mess with the angle and roundness and stuff here, but you can also click and drag, and that's very handy to do. So usually when you write with a marker, your hand's probably a little crooked and you're going to, your angle's probably going to be about here. And you could leave a little bit of roundness to the brush, but in all honesty, it's probably going to be pretty close to that and kind of flat. Um, size, you could leave small, but I like to make it a little bigger and adjust from there. So we'll start it off at 39. So go ahead and hit OK, and you'll see this brush pop in the window right here. So you'll select your stroke and that you made with your pen tool and click your brush. And bam, you have this super cool C. Uh, what I did right here is if you hold Alt and click an item and drag, you can copy it. And the reason why I'm going to do that is I'm going to show you up here that right now the stroke is one point. But if you click two or three, it makes it a lot fatter. So I actually like two a lot more. Um, and we've already drawn this um, angle. But if you're to click A, this is your point edit tool. If you drag a box over the C, you'll see where all the points are. So you can click this point here, oops, you can click this point here and move it down. So now it looks more like a C and it doesn't overlap at all. So now we're going to move on to our A. Let me get this, this C out of here. That's just a good, uh, good practice to keep everything just in case you go back to something later and see that you actually really like it. Um, so an A, we're going to do like a cool lowercase a. Um, another kind of uh, way to make your hand style look cooler is to match this angle. So if you draw all the letters at the same angle, it'll have a lot better uh, simulation of flow. So I'll start with the top of an A. We'll do like a lowercase a. Again, uh, I'm using the pen tool. So you can just click here, click one point click hold and drag your angle out and what I'm gonna do now is click and drag this angle and I clicked that point to close it and click the marker um, this this strokes only one point so we'll make it two so if you notice this I like this fat line here but this angle looks kind of weird again so you can click your direct direct select arrow find your point here and if you drag it down you'll notice that the marker tip kind of matches the original angle that you created so if you move it it'll get a lot fatter and that's kind of what I want that's what I like personally so we'll straighten that out and move this up and I'm gonna finish the A apart um, from this line so that there's no connection and just make some weird shape here. Click my brush. So this look again, this looks kind of weird, so I can move oops, move it over a little bit. So it's looking like Normally I would do lowercase a, but I'm not really liking this shape that much, so I'll move it over. And we'll try a different kind of a. So we'll start here. We'll do like a capital. Another thing that people uh, do with graffiti a lot is kind of make star shapes with a's. So we'll just kind of 
try to do something cool here. Make it kind of like an anarchy looking A and click the click the brush. So here you could see that it's an A still, but it looks a lot more interesting. And I actually, if you look at this little section here, it looks like an L already. So what, um, what you could even do if you're lazy is copy this. So select, hold the Alt key and click and drag. And what I could do is delete these points. So if you have your direct select arrow here, you can grab this point hit your delete key and then grab delete this point as well so now it looks like I have an L already and you'll notice that it looks really similar to the other one so what you could do is drag it up and uh, these points that you created with the pen you'll notice that these handles come out you could use these to readjust the angle that you already did so now this looks reasonably different. It doesn't look like I copied it. It looks more like a new letter. So now we just need to finish it off with the I. And usually with hand styles, lowercase I's look really cool because you could do like accents with the dot over the I. So we'll go ahead and make a really simple little I. And I'm going to grab this point of the L and drag it through just to add some more detail. Oops. And then we'll, we'll do the little, little dot over here. Just make some kind of cool shape. It doesn't have to be perfect because you want it to look kind of natural anyhow. And you'll notice that for some reason Illustrator has these weird errors all the time where like this, uh, there's this little bubble here. So if you pull the handle up, it should get rid of it at some point. So now it's gone. So now we have our, our little Cali word hand style. And if you look at these examples, you'll notice that one of the big, uh, the big parts of making a cool hand style little graffiti piece is a lot of people add crowns, quotation marks, little flourishes, all kinds of different stuff. Like this guy that wrote graffiti hand styles. You'll, you'll notice that the detail is what makes everything way, way cooler. So we'll go ahead and add some details to this to make it nicer. So I'll zoom out a little bit. Oh, my computer is not, not agreeing with me today. Ah, whatever. So I'll move this over here to give myself some more space. And we'll go ahead and do a quotation mark. And again, you could draw your, draw your little path and create a stroke. And this one, instead of making it two points, I'll just leave it one. And since I already made one to make it look unique, I can copy, copy this and move it down a little bit. And you can see that it looks cool already. Um, I'll copy, copy these to the other side too. And just, just for kicks, I'll flip them. Um, to do that, you can click this reflect tool and you're going to reflect them vertically. So there's my little quotation marks. I can make a cool flourish at the bottom. So I'll try to make like a cool organic looking shape. And again, I'm not, I don't really like how thin this line is. So I'm going to fatten it up by adjusting the angle. Actually, I don't like that at all. So I'm going to go ahead and start over. Maybe we'll make like a upside down U shape. That'll get me, get me a bigger line there. Huh. 
So here is another issue that I'm running into is I want to make this cool flourish, but I'm having trouble fattening up this part of the line. So what I could do is you'll notice that this angle matches the brush. So what I'm going to do is make a brush that uh, focuses on the opposite angle. So I'd go to new brush in my brushes window, calligraphic brush, and then pull this in and we'll turn it to the side like that. So an opposite angle. And you'll mat you'll see that this is 39 points. I'll just make this 39 points as well. And hit OK. So then I'll click this and my new brush. And it's way fatter. And that is what I wanted. So I had this cool flourish that I already liked over here. That's kind of kind of wacky but it's okay actually yeah, I, don't, I don't really like it that much we'll we'll try again so I have my line I'll use my new brush make that and I'll just adjust the angle here a little bit and we'll just finish it off by making a little squiggly circle at the top. So a lot of people do that too. And now I have brushes to choose from. So I'll try my fatter brush. And then I'll change the stroke to two points. And I am happy with that. So that's my quick little graffiti hand style. Um, you can also, if you want to start um, writing it by hand, that's always a good idea. But this is very easy to do in Illustrator itself, and you can come up with some cool results. So that was it. If you guys have any questions, let me know, and I will have some more art and graffiti and cartoon tutorials soon. Um, comment, like, whatever you freaking want. I don't really care. And share, your, share what you made. It's... Uh, even if you're not into graffiti, if, if you do art or design or like 3D graphics or anything, it's always good to be able to want, do stuff like this because it helps you kind of release creativity when you have like a block. And also, especially like in the case of video game design, you could throw up some cool, some cool looking graffiti in the background without having to ask one of your friends to do it for you. So anyway, that was it. Enjoy. Have a great day. See you on the next video.